Hi Virgo! Your weekly day by day. Tarot cards reading by Emma for the big beginning on Monday, 11th of November. So Monday, 11th November with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is a very pleasant, sweet energy. <clears throat> You and another one, person dear to you, like your sibling, like your best friend, like um, like your children, could also be your children, because it's very childlike energy. Maybe you remembering yourself when you were a child and your friends from that time. This is also fond memories, okay, from your past, those were days or something, but very pleasant. I mean, shallowish energy, there is nothing in depth here. But yeah, pleasant energy. It could be that somebody from your past is coming to visit you, okay? Reappears in your life after a long time. You were kind of friends some time ago, years back. Now again, you met again and friendship is rekindling. Yeah, could also be something like that. Uh, the Emperor. Look, the Emperor is a strong energy. Um, that's you as a parent, as authority figure, and this perhaps somebody else, your children, okay, straightforward father and children, okay, <laughs> of parent and children, making decision for um, for your children or your, for your sibling, for your younger, I don't know, sibling perhaps, because you were authority figure with the emperor you were making decision you are on top of the situation you are laying foundation for something else for your uh, child's future or your um, siblings future you see what i'm saying with full authority you know exactly what you do what would be the best for this person this person very dear to you and you are doing your best to make a right decision and to lay foundation for the long-term future, successful future for this person. Like parents, you know, when they um, advise their child or what they're going to study and they help them to get into it, like paying extra courses, paying tutorings, paying coaches, you see what I'm saying? Because that future is important for your child. Very strongly parenting features here on Monday. But look, uh, the emperor energy within you, you taking charge of your life, you being capable to make decision about yourself, you have full authority around whatever that is happening in your life, whether that's business, career, your private life, you were the one to make decision to say what is going to be. So perhaps that inner child arising up because of that, now I'm taking care of myself, I'm making big decision, I'm making long-term decision, I am changing my life. The emperor often changes life. This isn't small change, this is huge authority and we will do something, will change something, will lay foundation for something which will be solid building, okay? Um, your life, you are building now your solid life in a different way, different career, different, I don't know, something in a different place, but could very well be, Virgo, that you are planning to change your life, okay? And you are doing it with full authority, you know exactly what you want out of your life, out of your career, and you know what to do to get there. Might be that you are very demanding, okay? You are demanding from yourself discipline, hard work, something. You see what I'm saying? Because this is demanding energy. If you want the best of yourself or for yourself or both, <laughs> You have to put lots of effort. Often, often this energy is demanding. But as I said, it's your energy. You demand a lot from yourself. But your goal is also massive. Might change your life completely. Okay? But you are so looking forward to it. This is childlike energy. Your inner child is rising up so happy about possible future which you are creating, which you are laying foundation for right now. In that sense, your Monday work, strong authority. You were, in fact, strong authority in your life or for your children. But yeah, you were taking charge here. You were making changes, meaningful, long-term changes 
you were making um, on this day. Six of Swords, I mean, Six of Swords is kind of easy energy, easy year, okay? This was, it says it was difficult. Till, till recently it was difficult. You did have something to worry about. You did have maybe some conflicts. You did have maybe lots of work, okay? Something unpleasant, something which you didn't like, something which troubled you a lot. And the now is easier, okay? Six of Swords says just that. Now at this point it's easier. Still dark time. You still don't have that what you want to have. You're still not there where you want to be. But it's easier. Here, okay, you are slowly moving now. Could be movement as well. Okay, Six of Swords often talks about relocation, but this this is kind of nearby, from this suburb to another. Um, could mean something like that as well. With Ace of Pentacles, oh, you were expecting prosperity, happy life, abundant life. You were expecting. Uh, completely different life, okay, there is Emperor, there is Ace of Pentacles, I mean, you were going through this transformation, okay, right now, you are transforming your life, and you are doing it, okay, you are doing it consciously, you know exactly what you are after, could be that you were after right now some big business, some big income, some, I don't know, um, material life, some stable financial situation. You see what I'm saying? That all that you do right now is about that. Financial stability, abundance, um, lux luxurious life, uh, long-term stability could also mean something like that. But you are making big changes in that regard. You are doing it and you are on the way, slowly but surely. Whether that means a relocation as well, or it's just just changes which you are making, okay? You are aware that you are making big changes, drastic changes, and you are also aware that it will be visible later on. It's not yet, but you are on the way, okay, here on Tuesday. Just extension from Monday, just realization, I am slowly but surely on my way, making big changes. I'm going to be rich or so. <laughs> I'm gonna buy my house. Could be, yeah, buying house. But still, we were talking abundance, something material, financial stability, or stability in your life in general. And today is just um, the moment when you feel that you are moving towards, in that sense, this Tuesday. Now, Wednesday, With four of wands, now this is homey energy. That's your home. That's you feeling good about yourself. That's you feeling good about some sort of success which you are having. Uh, this is maybe also celebration of some sort, something at your home. Maybe some anniversary, some birthday party, or just a family lunch, okay? This is very pleasant energy. People are happy here. Could indicate some sort of success, first success which you achieved, okay? And which you were celebrating now since you achieved this. You've got this door which opens up for you now. It was important, it was difficult to get here. But since you got there, door is opening for you. You can continue, you can have bigger success, you see? See what I'm saying? This is success which we celebrate because it was difficult to get, like to establish something, to get that first money, to get that first popularity, to achieve that first stable moment, first stability in your life, in your business, in that what you do, and that what we celebrate. Now is stable. Now I managed. Now I can continue, okay, since you've got to this point. Yeah, that's four of wands. Anyhow, it's ple it's pleasant, okay? It's a very satisfying energy, comfortable energy. Feels at home, feels pleasant. And from here, okay, of course, you can continue with the Ten of Swords. I mean, something is behind you. Some difficulties. I mean, there is a Six of Swords, there's Ten of Swords. Something defeated you. Some big work, some... 
some unfortunate employment or a relationship, something was problem for you, problem which you couldn't couldn't solve. This is you being defeated, okay? You tried something and it didn't work. Whether that you tried at that workplace or with some business or with some person, that didn't work. This is defeat. It's finished. It's over. Something which you could never succeed with, okay? This career business, this project, this something, I mean, doesn't matter how much effort you put in that, you would never succeed. And that's what you have accepted. I mean, it, it begins to fade away because there is four of wands, there is a stable energy, there is comfortable energy, and I'm sure this begins to fade away. On this day, you are feeling it, you are remembering it, but stability is there, happy moment is there. Even though your memories are saying it was painful and you were perhaps still paining for some reason, but begins, as I said, four of wands is homey, pleasant, comfortable energy. It begins to fade away, begins to heal, I think, here on Wednesday. Now Thursday, with the King of Roads, King of Roads is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person, maybe your father, maybe your boss, maybe your best friend. This is very lovely energy, very confident energy, you know, person that tells jokes, person that want to do things for you. Very confident one, very accountable. Everything is doable with this energy, with this person or just energy. It's doable. Now, this idea is doable. I can create it. I'll do it. Or person which always says like that. Now, don't worry, Virgo, I'll do it. Now, don't worry, I'll know, um, I know how to. In that sense, perhaps um, somebody, often your best friend, even if it's your father or boss, will do, will be, will do things friendly for you or will tell you how to do something, but in a very friendly way. Um, eight of Swords, energy within you, no visibility. Maybe, look, maybe this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person is a sort of suitor. Uh, but you're not sure if you really want a relationship with this person. You're not sure on this day. Now, could also be that this person want to do something for you or advises you how to do something that is very clever, would be really clever to do this. Your father says, your boss says that you're supposed to do things in this certain way, but you're not sure, okay? You might obey, okay? Just do things automatically. You know, this is doing it on autopilot lot because somebody told you and you just follow instruction and you you know you'll do it you are not up to thinking about that engaging in it looking into it you see what i'm saying you are not into into the situation not at all so you might as well just follow this instruction you trust this person your father your boss your somebody aries leo sagittarius you trust this person and you will uh, just go on autopilot and follow the instructions but could be that you are simply thinking what to do with this current situation, that you're not sure about yourself. Should you now continue creating that, what this person advises you? You feel like you don't have a say. Maybe that was the problem a little bit, that you feel like nobody asks you, nobody consults you, nobody cares what you think, what you feel. Like um, maybe you don't feel comfortable with the current situation. What Whatever that situation is, you are not comfortable with it. Even if you are doing as people are saying, still, it doesn't give you pleasure. It doesn't give you satisfaction. It's not your job. It's not your idea. It's not your deeds. It's not what you want. You see what I'm saying? And perhaps on this day, you don't even know what you want. You're just doing things. Very, kind of very uncomfortable. Though, look, things are doable. Ideas are great. This is person very friendly, can help you, can do things for you. But still, still, it's not what you want for yourself. That is the problem here on Thursday. Now Friday. With the tower of Mm, some relationship, something which you build till now, you believed in something, in this person, in some 
in something. You believed in something. Will crumble down. Will get destroyed. Ten of wands. Sure. Difficult Friday. I'm telling you what is wrong now here. This Thursday, Friday, a difficult day is for you. You are definitely deciding to get rid of something. Some relationship. Some work. Okay. Even though maybe... It did seem friendly, it did seem fine. Maybe somebody did have your best interest at their heart, but it's still not your decision. It's still not what you want. It's still not you taken into account. You see what I'm saying, what you feel like, and you will say, no, you don't wanna. You might offend this person. They will be perhaps, I don't know, a bit noise around it. You know, the tower is noisy. I mean, there's words, there is shouting, there is, you know, I told you so, I don't want ever. In that sense, you see what I'm saying? But big burden will fall off your shoulders now. Even if it's unpleasant, I kind of feel something very unpleasant, which you didn't have like a guts to say. I don't want it, I don't want you, I don't want your help, I don't want you doing things for me. Like you didn't have guts to say it, because somebody was around you, I'm helping you, I'm around you, I'm doing it for you, do it this way, this is the best way for you, just follow my instructions, and today you said enough is enough, I'm not doing as you said, I'm not following your instructions, you see what I'm saying, I'm not working with you, and erupts. Things are very eruptive today. Somebody is embarrassed. Somebody is offended. And I don't know. Things are uh, very, very unpleasant on this day. You feel that is a heavy day on you. Very heavy day for you. Very difficult day for you. But you know that finally, finally, you will drop this load. Because it was going nowhere. You didn't like it at first place. You didn't want it at first place. You just kind of, as I said, you were maybe on autopilot. Maybe you needed a little bit of help, okay, a little bit of support, but uh, ended up being somebody's doing things for you. Somebody is um, organizing your life. Somebody is telling you what to do. You didn't have perhaps your personality. You didn't have your visibility. That what you wanted, what you felt like, wasn't important at all. You see what I'm saying? And I think this emperor, this decision came on Monday. You will change it. Okay? I think this emperor decided, it's you deciding about changing this thing. Finally, you're not going to go for it. You will tell them. Even if they get offended. Even if you lose friends. Even if your boss is angry with you. You will do it. Okay, it's a burden, it's difficult, but you will do it once for all. That is your Friday. Like, bite the bullet. If you survive, you know, you continue in that sense. If you survive this Friday. Yeah. Now, Saturday. Eight of Pentacles. Now, Eight of Pentacles is lovely, diligent energy, concentrated on that job at hand. How chores, your profession, your job, your studies. You know, after this turbulent day, for, for you, the best thing is to get some work, get to do something, okay? Concentrate on something, something practical. Okay, let's clean the house, then you're not going to think about that. Let's do some project, let's study something, concentrate on something, okay? And you're not going to be bothered anymore with something unpleasant, which you surely did have this week. Being Saturday might be just your house chores, might be your garden work, okay? That's very healing, at least for me. Virgo, you were earth sign, maybe something like that for you as well. But you see what I'm saying? You are doing something practical to keep yourself occupied. You are concentrated and occupied. So your mind is not going astray. You need to be concentrated on something else so you don't think anymore about this problem. I think it's just like that. Um, but let me pair it, in fact. Yeah, with Queen of Rhodes. 
look, could be that you do have, in fact, something very concrete which you're supposed to do, something which is important for your future, that is not, in fact, keeping yourself occupied to uh, forget about problems. No, this is concrete job important for your future because Queen of Rhodes is very excited about creating something. Could be really something about your business, about your career, about your profession, but this is important for your future. You will be doing your job in a different way. You will get employed somewhere else. You'll start your own business. Often with Queen of Rhodes, we do have a new business okay you business owner the emperor would support that okay that energy very individual very strong taking care of yourself making big decisions being on top on top of the things you see what i'm saying planning big future being very brave okay queen of roads is very brave and as i said it might be that you want to do things in a different way to earn your money in a different way to open your own business or so could very well be something like that a bit more meaningful than just a house chores uh, or a, um, a work destruction um, i think it's a bit more meaningful more important for your future this is future plans future creations future money making okay that how you're gonna make your money from now on it's different it's a great you love it you enjoy it you see what i'm saying it's gonna be a lot might actually mean something like that here on saturday but you were quite happy self here very excited about what you do maybe excited about what you learn on this day but anyway, that's your Saturday, feeling your prosperity, feeling yourself excited, feeling yourself capable, you see what I'm saying? Look, we do have King and Queen of Wands in the same reading. We can maybe talk about your parents, okay, supporting you, or you're working for people who were kind of natural couple uh, or so, people who were very supportive telling you what to do with your business, with your career, what business to start or how to operate a business which you are having right now so it's going to give you better results, bigger profits or so. Could also be something like that. These two together in the same reading, they were happily doing things, okay, very excited about creating future now, just your energy or energy of somebody else who is doing things for you, helping you, it doesn't matter. It is feeling of excitement and prosperity, okay, about future creation, about future employment, about future business, about a different way of making money, but all very excited. Yeah, that's your Saturday. Now, Sunday. With the Ten of Wands again, it's a burden, but it's almost there, almost finished, okay? Whatever that was your problem, it's almost there. Ten of Wands is finishing it now. It lasted, okay? We have these three tens here. It lasted and, and perhaps lasted very long. It was um, a big obligation, brought you lots of worries, okay? But you are bringing it to an end. Finally, it's over. Page of Cups, it's going to be over, it's done. You don't have to worry anymore. I mean, perhaps Ten of um, Wands on this day is just a feeling that, yeah, this big burden, this big obligation, it will be over. Because you know now on this day, this childlike energy, this happy energy, full of optimism, comes because of that. Ten of Wands always has purpose, okay? When you take some sort of obligation, when you begin something, some sort of preparation to make, you've got the purpose for it, okay? Some results supposed to follow, some rewards supposed to be given, and that's what you are expecting. You are almost there. Beautiful rewards, big money, some big success, some big achievement supposed to follow because you are almost there, you are finishing, now you're supposed to get some results, desired results and you are so looking forward to it, big expectations, you're so optimistic about what will follow now because of this big job, big, big job, huge, massive obligations you are done with. And very happy because of that. 
Yeah, Virgo, very lovely week for you. I really hope that you're going to enjoy it. And I will uh, speak to you again very soon. Till then, best regards. Tarot by M.